Hi there, this is the beginning of my collective reading um, on Told as a Love Tarot. And make sure you check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of one sign in your chart, check out those readings if this resonates. I know I ruined it, I know I fucked up, I know you're let down. They, I, you know better. Did you ever care for me? Your honesty and trust is beautiful and valuable. Who exactly is the toxic one here? Someone could have green eyes specifically. It's okay to let go of anyone, anything that isn't good for you. With winter at the bottom. Oh, shit. Opposites attract, fell out. All right, well. <clears throat> I was trying to get through that introduction because I thought I'd be able to cut this video and make a TikTok with it of the intro, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. If you thought, wow, she's talking weird and fast right now. That's why. Um winter is here you could be deal also also very discreet down low shh, which I saw the other day in a reading it blows my mind and this big of a deck that cards can repeat winter this is making me think Capricorn I know Sagittarius isn't winter season but it just popped in my head but it would be Sag Capricorn Aquarius into Pisces season um, maybe you're dealing with someone who's that sign. Oh. Really quickly, I get the feeling that, um, This is reminding of my me and my Gemini reading. So if you are a Gemini watching this, or you're dealing with a Gemini, you should go check out that that reading. But I'm getting a um, I don't chase them, I replace them type vibe and energy. This is someone who acted up. And another person acted accordingly. Whatever acting up means to you. I was just thinking like maybe being disruptive on purpose, doing something on purpose. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm looking at someone with their head hung like they know they're the ones that cause whatever ending is here. Um, I think this is just an incompatibility because I think two people, because it says who exactly is the toxic one here, I think two people is just not a good match. Um, but I feel like someone's unattachment or um, okay and move on type attitude has left another person like, oh my God, did you even like me? Like, you said you liked me. Did you even like me? Did you even care about me? This is also, this is so freaking funny. It's funny that it's. This is gonna sound really bitchy of me to say, but it's funny t when it's like, you know how the person's actions <clears throat> are coming from a place of wanting to be in control or um, you recognize the red flags, you recognize the game as it's being played, you recognize what's going on and you move accordingly. 
There is someone here who's like, you moved accordingly. Yeah, damn right I did. What? Like, it, it, we're supposed to go back and forth. You're supposed to chase after me. You were supposed to apologize, even though I'm the one who was in the wrong. You were supposed, like, someone acted accordingly and let go of something that they realized. There might have been jealousy here. I'm seeing with those green eyes and thinking the green-eyed monster, like, Maybe jealousy was the cause of it. Page of Cups. I'm thinking like, um. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Someone like beginning to have a crush or feelings for or start to date someone. <clears throat> um, the Four of Cups. This five, six, seven, seven of pentacles. I get the feeling of someone who wanted something and waited for someone or something. This could be something, but like they wanted it and they tried more than one time to make something work. And then it begins to to um, grow and blossom. This could be someone putting in a lot of work into themselves, I'm thinking now. It's maybe someone who had a breakup or an ending. Page of Pentacles reversed. Temperance reversed. There's a lot there's a lot of knights and pages right here at the top the page of cups the knight of pentacles uh who else did i see the page of pentacles temperance emperor but that's quite a few for right there okay all right there is someone out here who is like <sighs> dating to find who and what they want. They're not going to waste your time. They're not going to waste their time. This is the unattached person who acts accordingly. They are waiting for the right combination. Someone who's wants the same things as I want, is treating me the same way that I would treat them, is not playing games with me. Like, yes, it can start out as something on a friendship level or flirting, but it's going to lead to somewhere. <clears throat> and someone who wants to give in, give to this. Um, I'm even here and, and thinking to someone who's equally been hurt and heartbroken in the past or, okay, this is what it is. Someone who would understand someone's trust issues, why they would be so hesitant and hard and cold. <clears throat> There's someone here who has this beautiful trust and honesty that everything will happen for the right reason and for the best reason and i think it's been taken advantage of in the past so this person has kind of wisened up to um not accepting um just any anything or any offer this is someone who has to want to make it through the levels of this person to get to their heart this person's heart is like a level of freaking 
I'm thinking, Ma I keep seeing Mario 64 when he would try to go beat Bowser. <laughs> and he would have to go through this, like, like a lot of um, different obstacles just to get to the main obstacle. And the main obstacle here is being on the same platform with this person. And I don't want to say it's a fight, but I feel like... <sighs> There's, there's a belief here that the right person will come and will be strong enough to face this person's wounds and their issues. Now, I'm not saying there's someone walking around like a uh, porcupine with their issues and broken heart just hurting everyone and anything that runs into them and tries to get close. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's someone who's way more protective of their trust, way more understanding of who they are and how they trust and love. And with this understanding, comes this like protection with it that comes across as being toxic or bitchy or <clears throat> there's a difference. Ooh, I just made a sound on my throat. There's a difference between someone doing something purposefully to hurt another's feelings and whatever it is to be hurtful or whatever there's another there's another thing of i don't care because i'm not attached to you and the outcome and the situation so whatever happens here i don't care about and that is a level of protection i feel like i've started to ramble i don't know if i'm making sense <laughs> I, f I just have this energy of like the right person will want to fight to get through my levels. And it's not that I'm a Bowser. I'm a Princess Peach. I just know that I'm a Princess Peach. So I'm not going to let just anyone come up here to get me. I'm waiting for my Mario. And I'm even looking at this card and I'm like, look, it's like a stairwell going up. Maybe someone lives, um, you have to go upstairs to get to where you live. But um, I think that's also someone's, um, there's green eyes here too. Male or female, someone has made themselves like the ultimate Rapunzel emotionally. Like you are, you are, they will not get emotionally obtained. You, it's just unobtainable unless Rapunzel lets her emotions down and lets him or her climb up to be emotionally involved. There is some strong feminine energy here. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm stuck on Rapunzel. It's a figurative, someone has built themselves up, protected themselves up from all the little bullshit offers from people who just want to obtain This emotional Rapunzel is like, nah, I'm gonna keep myself up here. And the right person down there who wants to be attached to me will find a way to get through my levels, to climb my tower, to get to me. I actually don't hate this energy. I don't hate this energy. 
because you know what there's been more than one person who knows like they just they didn't come correct oh this is way too many cards I'm here I'm like this is all right Queen of Cups reversed Knight of Wands the Hermit four of Wands King of Pentacles I feel like those to me symbolize someone who knows what they want and has control been in control of their emotions they do not get attached to people they are seeing or sleeping with um, if there's no commitment there is someone who is looking for a commitment and happily ever after with the four of wands and the hierophant there and the king of pentacles reverse three of swords strength this is going to sound so bizarre but i don't know how else to say this this is like someone who's gotten really really strong like strong after healing themselves this is something about like a strong sexuality, like owning, um, someone who's separated emotions from anything that happened with the physical. And chariot reversed cancer energy and this is leo with the high priestess at the bottom so this could be um a leo cancer cusp no a cancer leo cusp Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Hermit reversed. Someone doesn't want to be this tough. Someone doesn't want to be this isolated. I feel like, and I this is the first card I started to see at the bottom of the deck. Someone is sick of investing in people and places and things and it not working out. They just get hurt or walked away from. This is someone who's like, I'm hearing like sick of walking. Like they're, this is why they've planted their ass in a tower. <laughs> a tower, ace of wands reverse, but they're looking. Oh, I hope this makes sense to someone. Cause even now I'm like, Megan, good Lord. What, what is going on? Virgo energy is here. Someone wants to be saved. They want the whole package. It's like they want it. Sagittarius energy is here now. Temperance. They're being patient. Someone is patiently waiting for this. And little do they know that in the process, they are learning and growing and learning these lessons that is keeping them more and more protected as they hold out for happily ever after what they're looking for. I feel like someone may have been led astray or um, just been someone who people were able to play and someone here understands too that they were, they, they've, their issues with dating, even if they weren't the one who was necessarily a cheater or a heartbreaker or whatever. The fact that they keep accepting or going for situations that aren't completely healthy is not something that hasn't gone gotten past this person. Does that make sense? The world reversed. I feel like there's someone who has like really Knight of Cups 
five of pentacles reverse someone who's like really cut themselves off like king of swords reverse they could have gotten offline or aren't online two of pentacles um Death reversed, Eight of Swords reversed. That's Scorpio energy. I feel like I'm looking at, and I just saw this in the other reading, someone who got played. They were juggled. They had been emotionally invested and waiting for the next step in their relationship or whatever they were in. And it was under the, it was under the, it was like believed that it would get to this, to the Ten of Pentacles. But then I feel like someone was talking to someone else, engaging, like falling for someone else. Like it's, it's the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands reversed. Um, that's physical, that's, that's emotional and physical. I feel like someone would like a second chance. I think they understand that this would show that it is um, a cycle. Three of Swords reverse, Knight of Swords reversed, Wheel of Fortune reverse, Ten of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands reverse, Seven of Swords. I don't know who has someone so effed up out there. Oh my lord. You have someone out there like they told me no. They told me no. I love <laughs> I'm thinking of a TikTok the other day where it's uh oh she's well known on TikTok. She's funny funny lady she's a mom but i've never heard of it as baby daddy d-e-d-d-y is that an illusion to call him like a deadbeat dad i don't know i'm not sure anyway but she'll use different props for like as a phone she'll have she had like a coke bottle in her hand like this and it was just a little boy screaming having a meltdown and the caption was, me, my baby daddy, after I told him uh, something I did that is something he does, something to that effect, or like, when I do exactly what he did or does, and it's him flipping out because he can't handle her matching his energy, and I, <laughs> I think, I'm thinking about that because I feel like this is something here, like, someone Someone fucked with the wrong one. Okay. Oh, okay. They tried to place... Oh my God, it's the Knight of Wands again with the Queen of Cups. As I was just talking about these cards. With the King of Swords reversed there. And he's here too. All right, they're coming out. Those are coming out. Someone's trying to play some little child games. Trying to play some little child games with the wrong one. This is someone who wants and feels something more than what they are leading on to, but they want to be chased. They thought you would chase them. They thought you would come after them. They thought you would drive to them, bring them out from the colds, but nah, someone was like, peace out, bye, see ya.
King of Swords reverse. When he's done talking, when that King of Swords is done, uh, bye. No hard, no hard feelings here. Just like, see ya. And I feel like someone is like, did you ever even care about me? I thought you were going to chase after me and you didn't. Because someone I think understands. It's okay if it doesn't work out. It's okay to just move on. I'm not doing a loop-de-loop -loop back and forth. Act accordingly.